Let's head into the newscast with our top focus on Israeli election as the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's prospects for another term look uncertain after partial results projected no clear path to victory. Israel's world-beating COVID-19 vaccination rollout was a central pillar of Netanyahu's campaign, but even that wasn't enough for Netanyahu to break through the political deadlock that has seen four elections in two years. Immediately after polls closed, Netanyahu claimed victory and said he hoped to form a stable right-wing government, but with about 88% of the votes counted, neither Netanyahu nor his centre-left opponents won a stable majority in the 120-seat parliament. Netanyahu's right-wing bloc fell short of a governing majority and it has a less clear route to forming a coalition to secure another term. Netanyahu would have to put together a coalition from a combination of right-wing allies, ultra-orthodox parties, ultra-nationalists, Arabs and defectors. Should a hard-right government emerge, it would likely be at loggerheads with the Democratic administration of U.S. President Joe Biden over issues such as Palestinian statehood and U.S. engagement with Israel's arch-enemy Iran over its nuclear program. Now, Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shatya said the outcome does not really give any hope for peace and that the Israeli political system had shifted to the right. Netanyahu has sealed historic deals with several Arab nations to normalize ties, but Israel and the Palestinians have not held direct negotiations since 2014 when peace talks broke down. Vyan is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.